Hello everyone, this is Todd with Loma Vista Bee Company. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today is uh, January 26th, Friday the 26th. And I was asked a question a while back about um, my bricks and what I'm doing with those. So, um, the bricks, the brick system, let me get in a better spot here with the sun. Uh, the brick system I use is something I learned a while back, uh, years ago, from uh, Don the Fan Bee Man. And it's a simple system, and I'm, I make it, I customized it to whatever I wanted. So, here's the deal. First of all, you have a brick that's in the center of the lid. And when I see that, I know that there's nothing wrong with this colony. Everything's good. It's good to go. You know, everything's on track. Now, let's say, for instance, something's wrong. I'm not sure which or what. I will turn it like that. And that'll just tell me the next time I, I go in there, you know, pay more attention, figure out what it is, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I also have a brick like that. That tells me that, um, you know, there's some issues in here that I have to take care of sooner than later. Uh, it might be a queen that's starting to go bad or, or laying drones or has become a drone layer or something like that. Um, so if it's, let's just say in this case, it's a drone layer. I go in there, it's, um, you know, just laying drones and that's it. I got to pitch her off. When I do that, I put the brick up. Now, it doesn't matter if it's like this or like this. It just matters that it's standing up. So it's easily seen throughout the bee yard. I could say, well, that one has no queen or that one has no queen, whatever, whatever the number is, right? <clears throat> so let's say it, uh, it needs a new queen. Uh, it's queenless. I need to put in a cell. So I put a cell in. So... I put a cell in, I lay the brick like this, where it's, the brick is flush with the edge of the lid. That just tells me there's a cell in there. <clears throat> um, you know, I have to wait until it hatches and takes its mating flight, stuff like that. Let's say it hatches. I go in there two weeks later, I see a virgin. I see her running around, whether she's laying or not. Well then, <clears throat> excuse me guys, my, my allergies are killing me today. Um, so I have a virgin run around in there. I lay the brick over the edge of the, of the lid a little bit. That tells me I have a virgin in there. So, okay, so I have a virgin in there. I will leave the brick like this until I come back, you know, if it's two weeks later, three weeks later, whatever the case is. Um, I'll leave it like this until I see that she is laying a good pattern um she's you know got everything situated in there and then when i know that the brick goes back to normal and that really is it um <clears throat> in the past i've used different i you know i use like five or six positions with the brick but in the past i've had the brick on the back of the lid diagonally off the corner that tells me I need to feed this colony syrup. If I had it over here on the back corner diagonally like, like that, that tells me I need to add brood. So, you know, it, it, make the system that you want. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. It doesn't matter, but it's something that you would know. And the nice thing about this is um, it's, it's cost effective. It's a brick. A lot of times you could go find piles of bricks on the side of the road and grab some. Or, you know, ask ask whoever's got a pile of bricks if they, you know, they can part ways with 20 or 50 of them. Whatever the case is, the number of hives you have. And, and that's what you do. So, I have bricks on all of my hives. Um... And that's the system I use. When it's standing up, when it's queenless, 
when I pull up in my pickup, I could see instantly which ones are queenless. If I need, you know, if I have queens in, I'll just go directly to those hives. I don't have to sit and look for them. Um, <clears throat> I, it's not written on the lid, so it's, you know, I could identify that hive immediately. So anyway, um, the point is this, do what works best for you. If, um, if you're on a tight budget and you have bricks laying around, use the bricks to identify uh, what's going on in the colony. Um, there, there are other things out on the market um, I'm sure you're aware of, but you know, for me, this is the easiest uh, and most economical way for me to do it. And you know what, I'm gonna outgrow this system. And when I do, I probably won't have a system. I'll have to do something differently that is gonna take some thought. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you this. It's uh, just a just a simple tip. You could use it. You don't have to use it. You could customize it to whatever you want to do. It's just something that I wanted to point out because I had a question about it. So that is it, guys. Everyone have a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.